Now, this is for the information of all National Assembly members and the general public that the National Assembly is to convene the first extraordinary session in the 2017 legislative year during the period Monday, 16 to Wednesday, 18th January 2017 at 10 a.m. to consider and approve important matters of supreme national interest. Sitting commences at 10 a.m. prompt and the general public is invited to attend. Meanwhile, the President, His Excellency, Chair Professor Dr. Alhaji Yahya A. J. J. Jame, this evening spoke with Her Excellency Ellen Johnson Salif, President of Liberia and Chairperson of the Authority of the Heads of State of ECOWAS. The Gambian leader informed Madam Salif about an injunction filed by the APRC to restrain Mr. Adam Barrow from being sworn in as well as restrain the Chief Justice and other party from swearing in Mr. Barrow. Let's take a listen. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, you wanted to talk to me again. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. With regards to the our last meeting when you came here, mm -hmm. I, I want to request your assistance mm -hmm. as the chair chairperson of the uh, Equus Authority of Hester State. To help us resolve this impasse peacefully through the courts, I hereby, I, I hereby request you to facilitate the release of the for Equus to facilitate the release of the judges so that they can come and uh, help us resolve constitutionally through the constitution of the Gambia. As I said, the only peaceful resolution of this impasse is through the courts. Uh, yeah. Everything what we, that we are doing is based on the constitution of the Republic of the Gambia. And uh, an application has also been filed at the Supreme Court of the Gambia for an injunction to restrain out of a battle from being sworn in as well as restrain the Chief Justice and any other party from swearing in Adam Abaro into office until this application is decided either way and the status quo remain the, uh, must remain. That is, until such time that the Supreme Court has made a decision on this, the status quo cannot change. But under the Constitution of the Gambia, the so-called 